Hello, you beautiful nerds. Welcome to the Drunk Banthas channel, where we talk about sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and all of the popular art that we love. Also, we do it drunk. I'm here, as always, with my brother Bill. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing good. I am very excited to talk about this new Marvel Disney Plus oh, show. Excited. They uh, keep dropping these, man. Like it feels like uh, this. It feels like this one came out faster than like between than like between Loki than between like uh, like the Wa Wandavision and Loki. That yeah, sense. that didn't make any sense. But I understand <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was less. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, maybe it just felt like that because you were watching the NBA finals. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. That's probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think that also that's the reason that you didn't see anything between now and then. I was really surprised by seeing T'Challa as Star Lord, right? And hearing Chadwick Boseman return. Apparently, we get. Three more episodes or four more episodes of him as T'Challa for the rest of the series. Spoiler alert. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, of course, to spoilers, we're going to be getting into some heavy spoilers here for the rest of the pod. Um, yeah, I was a really, I was a fan of the, the Star-Lord uh, T'Challa. Very interesting, like, seeing the differences between of the Ravagers and the differences between, like, uh, just how he handles things as opposed to... Uh, to Chris Pratt, <laughs> uh, damn, what's his name? I keep I can't, like I went, went Peter Quill. His, Peter Quill, yeah, man, I went blank on his. Hey, I'm name right for here for you. Um, Whenever you fall, I'll be nerd. <laughs> uh, appreciate it. Um, but like before, before we get into the T'Challa episode, let's talk about episode one. The Captain British lady, Captain Britain, Captain uh, Carter. <laughs> Call yeah, Captain me Kelter. Captain, Captain Carter. Uh, what did you think of the first episode? Uh, the Captain Carter. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I <laughs> yeah. didn't really like Captain America movie the first time. You know, I mean, I'm one of those people. I just don't. I didn't. I just think Captain America's boring. Mm. Uh, but. I liked it. I was like, hey, Captain America as a woman. Mm. I like that. That's <laughs> kind of good because now it's actually a reason for them to be mean to the person. Because they were kind of weirdly mm. like standoffish with Captain America at first. Mm. And then like, it's like, why are you doing that to the pretty blonde white man? That's not <laughs> realistic. He yeah, got blue eyes. That doesn't usually happen very often. He got blue eyes. How you gonna not sell him? Let him come in. <laughs> He's not gonna let him do what he wanna do. He wanna do what he wanna do. Let him do it. <laughs> yeah, it was a more uh more believable and interesting uh difference, like with her being a woman, especially during those times. Uh it made sense that she had so much more uh ad adversity, like actually being seen as a respected soldier. Right, yeah, I feel like that was more believable. So yeah, I like that, and I like that Bucky didn't lose his arm. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, like a lot less uh, physical and emotional trauma for Bucky in this uh, <laughs> in this universe, which is good. Yeah, and I saw a lot of comments about how people didn't like how it was basically the same movie, but like a different. Slightly different ending, or but with just a female. Mm, and I yeah, was like, that's. I was like, well, but I mean, it was a female though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like just changing, like changing the fact that it was Agent Carter, and not just like some faceless female. Like the 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 character Peggy Carter has been pretty well beloved. Like you know, with the Agent Carter series and. Uh, you know, she's got a pretty big fan base uh, from just her one appearance in that the uh, in the Marvel movies. Right. Uh, but and, I was not one, and <laughs> and she gained one. Yeah, she yeah, gained one in me. <laughs> I imagine she did for, with a lot of people because, like, yeah, she doesn't get a lot to do in that first movie, and that first Captain America movie isn't very good. I mean, and I and I'm a big defender of the Captain America movies, but still, I I feel I like the writing it. is the best part. I hate of, to say it. That. Really, the only thing that changed other than Peggy Carter becoming Captain America is to kill Tommy Lee Jones' character. 
<laughs> yeah. So Tommy Lee Jones was holding up the whole MCU this whole time. He's been bogging it down. This whole time. All we had to do was kill him. Really didn't need to make a female one. <laughs> Just needed to get rid of Tommy. Yeah, who, who'd have thought he was the he was the backbone of the whole MCU? No, but I, I think what happened is uh, he they couldn't get him for the re you know for the to come back and do his voice, so they just killed that character really quickly. Yeah, and and, and I like that they got Bradley Whitford to pretty much play his character in the uh, the movie. Just because I like that actor, you, I was about to say that's <laughs> just because you like Bradley Whitford. Yeah, just because I like that actor. Yeah, like anytime he's in stuff, I, it makes me smile. Uh, but I, I I did like how you know like all her like just changing her to a female like you said changing her to a female made uh, the adversity of her becoming a soldier right. just that much more interesting. I said that. That's uh, right. <laughs> and I also liked what they did with uh, um, with Tony Stark's dad, Howard Stark, uh, Dominic Cooper being able yeah. to reprise his role. Howie, shout outs to Preacher. All the shout preacher fans out to out Howie. There. <laughs> Dominic Cooper coming back and making an iron an old school Iron Man suit for Steve. I thought that, that was a really interesting predictable twist. twist. I mean, <laughs> that was yeah, it was interest it was it was dope. I liked it. It was uh it was predictable, but it was very dope. And I liked how they introduced Red Skull. Mm-hmm. I liked that it was a little dark, you know what I'm saying? But I could still watch it with my kids. You yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah, it was definitely more, uh, like uh, there was definitely more uh, clean, cleaned up, kind of like you know, I guess Clone Wars PG, uh, where it's like an all ages uh, type of thing where you don't have to worry about watching it with your kid, which I appreciated. Yeah, 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 and then so then she, you know, got the serum. She went, jumped in front of some trucks, beat some trucks <laughs> up. And she was uberly happy about her shit. Did you like the costume? I did. I like the costume. Pretty cool. It's basically, yes. Captain Britain, or isn't it like? Yeah, it looks it looks like a, like Britain a modernized a, Captain Britain. Like Cap- if it had some Captain like, Britain, right? Yeah, like like it modernized if it had like some actual armor on it rather than just being like you know it, just, it looked like it was supposed to be like You didn't think it was like just leather. Hmm? You didn't think it was just leather. You thought it was <laughs> armor. Oh, well, they made it seem like it was like leather Ooh. on top of armor. <laughs> or maybe we'll the, maybe she just got we'll give shoulders. him a break we'll give know. him a break we'll give him a break <laughs> I mean I liked it it was just kind of you know kind of I don't really you know I'm American man so you know I was kind of <laughs> mad like whoa hold up how come how she Captain America but she Captain Britain but she not Captain America but she ain't a, but she hold up man I don't know if I like this man <laughs> don't she work with the US so how why she got a British flag yeah, on I'm very curious of like the what dynamics is her too situation because... in the whole thing if you know please comment because let me know educate this nerd <laughs> I don't know what the fuck yeah, Peggy pretty... Carter's allegiance is is she a motherfucking <laughs> double agent <laughs> yeah, what's, where, where do your allegiances lie, uh, Peggy Carter? There's never any other British people around. It's just her. <laughs> yeah, I thought that she was British intelligence, but now, now it seems like she's just straight up working for the American. She's just intelligent. <laughs> she's just an intelligent lady. She's just British. Everybody assumes she's British intelligence, but nobody ever really questioned that or followed up on it. So she's just been getting mm. mad and... U.S. secrets for the last 70 years. <laughs> it's like, well, she sounds smart. Listen to her accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's from over there. Just listen to her accent. <laughs> uh, now, I I initially, like, going into this show, I assumed that it was going to be, like, pretty uh, singular, non-connected sh- uh, episodes. Uh, but, you know, like, in the trailer, it does show that, you know, Peggy Carter with Doctor Strange... They had mentioned that you know there's going to be multiple T'Challa Star Lord episodes, so I guess that these are going to be sort of connected. Now, do you think that these are going to be like uh, this is a result of the lo- end of Loki, or is this just like I think that you'll have to see. <laughs> uh, have to, <laughs> you have to wait and see, huh? I think that you will have to wait and see. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. That's like pretty I good. Think- that was a really good uh, T'Challa. I know I'm gonna have to bring me back. Bring, hey, I'm out here, y'all. <laughs> Ryan Coogler, hit me up. Golly, man, you act like you lost my number. You remember that time we was out? Goddamn, nigga, hit, hit me up. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> you know yeah. I am out here. You should call me back. 
<laughs> season two, what if? Y'all want more Star T'Challa Star Lord? We got him right here. You know studio. you have T'Challa right here. <laughs> all you have to do is call me. <laughs> I can save the galaxy and I can save the world. <laughs> Uh, you know, speaking of which, uh, like, yeah, like episode two, Black Star Lord. Uh, what'd you think of T'Challa Star Lord? I thought episode? he did an amazing job. They said he was very excited to be there. Yeah, and this made all of the difference in his performance. <laughs> I was excited yeah. about everybody. I mean, look, everybody came back in that episode. All the characters that originally played those characters came back to play those voices. That yeah. was that was dope. And um, I know you thought it was dope, even though you really like voiceovers doing voiceover work. But in this case, this is different. These are these characters playing their actual characters. And I think that also ties into your first question about this episode. Do you think these are taking place right after the events of Loki? I think that in some kind of way, we are supposed to assume right. by the end of all this that it is. I believe because they're... If that's not the case, <clears throat> I would believe that because they're showing so much information about the multiverse and they're giving you so many buffer and like, like it's like everything is like a 101, 102, 103 on the multiverse. Um, WandaVision broke down mm -hmm. the multiverse for you. Right. And then well, that's when you find out about like, like Nexus, Nexus events, events. yeah, and then, you know, then Loki breaks down the multiverse for you, and then, and now, what if is showing you like those yeah, results possibilities, of those. yeah, of possibilities, and then I think somehow all of these will tie in some kind of way, but mm -hmm. I think that's the beauty in what Kevin Feige and company do. Is they find a way to make it more interesting by tying it in with nice stories that stand alone on their own but also connect deeply together yeah yeah like i i really like what they what they've done and yeah kevin feige is a genius uh when it comes to like threading all this stuff together um i feel like this maybe is not gonna baby <laughs> it's a blanket we thread it together it's like a blanket yeah. threading it like take that home comic hashtag book me hey <laughs> hashtag me it's like a blanket <laughs> I I I yeah I really like the the new episode too um or the the yeah the the T'Challa Star Lord episode too I Kor Korath was a little annoying I really like that they like brought J uh, and Hansu back to play that character they must really like that character that that act like they must really like Jamin Hansu because they keep What's bringing him back you don't like him no 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 I love everybody him. likes him I wish that he got a better character than I Korath. met him one time he's a really nice guy oh really he's super tall you know a nice guy though. Yeah, he's yeah, he's apparently super tall. He used to be a uh, a, a model, I think. But uh, yeah, like yeah, he's he he's an incredible actor. I wish they had given him like uh, you know, like you know, maybe if the MCU started uh, twenty years earlier, he or ten years earlier, he would have been Black Panther. Because uh, oh, well, that's a stretch. Let's just calm down. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, yeah, like he's, he's really too dark skinned, Alex. <laughs> Uh, not yeah, that's right. That's right. This movie is made in Hollywood. I Come forgot. on, man. <laughs> and it's shown in China. It's too dark skinned, man. You know, he only can play stuff that they can easily edit him out and he cannot be in the movie in another country. <laughs> right. Yeah, I I mean, I like I liked Korath. I like I mean, I, like I loved his first of all, I loved what they did with him in this episode where oh, he yeah. was like fanboy. And he was like, What? Star Lord, oh shit. My nigga, what's going on? Like, I thought he was gonna say nigga. For real. <laughs> he was so hyped. I was like, oh, shit, he gonna say nigga. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, spoiler alert. He did not say nigga. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's yeah. Disney Plus, not <laughs> Disney Plus Plus X. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was like he was acting like it was like, oh shit, there's another nigga out here in space. Like, it's right. like he came from that kind of. That, that's what it was. He was like, oh shit, nigga. Oh my god, hey y'all, put your gun down. Put your gun down. Put your that's my nigga right there. <laughs> That's my dog. Hey, yo, my nigga, look, I know you ain't never met me before, but look, you really inspired me to be a real nigga out here in these streets. Look, look what you got me on. <laughs> I got this thing across my chest. God damn, my nigga, <laughs> Star Lord, nigga, Star Lord. Nigga, what? <laughs> Can I get your what? autograph? Can I take a picture with you? 
<laughs> I liked that. Yeah. I liked the, I liked that energy, and I liked that it was in juxtaposed to the white dude. <laughs> <laughs> who, he's like, who? Who the fuck are you? Right. I don't know who that is. And I also liked how naturally T'Challa was just a better person than Peter Quill. Yeah. But also, he was like, Saving the universe, <laughs> yeah, pacifying the likes of Thanos. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you could tell that you know Peter Quill obviously isn't a bad person, but he has fundamentally different uh, morals and ethics. European morals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, he, <laughs> well, beyond him, just I'm like just saying, he got <laughs> cultural. Uh, Stumbling blocks. He's mm. got cultural impediments that keep him from being able to be a hundred percent good person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like and even maybe, <laughs> and, even, and even T'Challa just like uh, he still has that uh, that even growing up uh, in a secluded place like Wakanda still wants that has that idea of. Like they expressed in the Black Panther movie, how he wants to give to other people, and right? Give to like a, share a, a technology, share re- resources, right? Yeah, like he definitely had a more of a it's take from the rich, give to the poor kind of mentality than uh, Peter Quill, who was more so just like I'll um, take and s- taking stuff <laughs> that didn't belong to him, right? And maybe reappropriating it for his own <laughs> financial gain. Right, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where that... Yeah. I, I'm just saying, like, that's crazy, right? <laughs> that's crazy. Um. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have some clear... They, they were very different. <laughs> they were very different. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> and those things made their personalities different. Mm. I'm, maybe slightly. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I like to... Uh, uh, you know how more uh, diplomatic T'Challa was, and you, therefore you get different version of Thanos, and therefore you get a different version of Nebula. Did uh, you like Josh Brolin coming back? Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, uh, Josh Brolin coming coming back. I was very surprising seeing that Thanos was a Ravager and a farmer. <laughs> he became a farmer. <laughs> he's like had a weird smile on his face the whole time. <laughs> like he was like a happy Thanos. He was a mad happy titan. titan. He was a mad titan. <laughs> he's so happy and content in being mad. <laughs> yeah. Still talking about genocide. Yeah. Though. Still it's like, hey, you know what? <laughs> it still works. And I like how everybody's just kind of like like he's talking about his genitalia or something like like <laughs> but they're just like oh god this is so embarrassing this dude won't stop with the he's like yeah genocide <laughs> what that's not a thing to just joke about that's not even it yeah, should not be regular <laughs> yeah it's not it shouldn't be just like a normal thing like he's like your annoying composting friend who's like he's like guys you got to start composting he's like no it's, he's talking about killing Half of the people in existence. Yeah, that's something to scoff at. Like he's like, no, you gotta stop chilling your wine. <laughs> Y'all right. putting your wine in the refrigerator. You gotta <laughs> stop doing that. You can't keep, you can't keep putting your wine in the refrigerator. You gotta you gotta let that wine sit out and get hot. <laughs> so y'all doing it all wrong. Yeah, it's like they're they're, they're approaching it with like that kind of energy. It's like, <laughs> like no, oh, nigga, man, I wish you'd stop talking genocide. about genocide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why oh, you keep talking about wine, man? This is goddamn just side. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was interesting seeing like you know him as a good guy for a moment, and uh, seeing Nebula uh, like they still have their uh, their uh, daddy issues. I guess this whole episode should have been called Daddy Issues because mm-hmm. we're dealing with T'Challa's issues with his birth father mm-hmm. and with Yondu. But yeah, and, it was a, oh, and Peter Quill and 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 Ego, right? Right, daddy issues. Yeah, well, it was we'll, a good title. <laughs> Where were you in the writing room? You sure that should have been there, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, like it was. It Actually, was, I'm joking. That was those are real well <laughs> written episodes. Those are those are really well written episodes. <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah, those are. Yeah, they were really incredible. Like uh, I, I really and I like the tease that we were probably gonna get. Well, we're gonna get some more uh, some uh, t-shirts. Looks into. <laughs> They're gonna send us some t-shirts. No, yeah, but we're gonna get some more Peter Quill. Uh, See, oh, and and ego. See what exactly oh, what, oh. what happened to him in that universe. Cool. So that's interesting. 
Uh, See, but I yeah, hear I'm, all those nerd glands just vibrating. You can. I'm not sure. <laughs> that was. A, I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was an accurate. Uh, <laughs> re, I don't even know what to call it. That was. <laughs> that was an accurate play of gestation. of a gland vibrating, but it's a nerd gland. It vibrates, and when it makes that noise, what is, can we play it again? <laughs> that is the sound. So if you hear that, run, because the nerd is about to explode somewhere <laughs> around you. Yeah. Soon you'll start hearing things like, actually, it was better in the source material. <laughs> you know, they retcon that whole thing. <laughs> I was like, That's actually canon. <laughs> uh, uh, but... So, do you know? I admit, I should have looked this up, but do you know what the episode is gonna be? Like the next "What If" episode is? Uh, is it gonna be another T'Challa uh, Star Wars episode? I have no idea. Are you trying uh, to get me sued by <laughs> Disney? Get the fuck out of here, boy! You crazy? <laughs> I'm not telling you what the next episode is. Um, and I know what it is too. And I know too. Well, uh, to no, keep- I'm just joking. I mean, I do know what it is. All you gotta do is. DM at Drunk Banthas <laughs> on Twitter and on Instagram. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter. DM me, and I'll tell you what the next episode is going to be. Right. What if? Yeah, exclusive information right exclusive here. Exclusive information. Nowhere else. Don't, Nowhere else. Don't Google it first. Number one. Just email us. <laughs> email us. DM me first. I got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm excited about the next episode Which, Whatever wait, it may first be First of all, wait, before you go on to oh, the no, next no, yeah, episode yeah. What did you think about fucking Hulk Collector? Hulk Collector? Oh, I, Collector I, was goddamn yoked up Oh, bro. yeah <laughs> Collector looked like Goldberg Ate The Big Show <laughs> And like yeah. and, and lifted Hulkamania weights <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Collector has been lifted for sure. And then he got hit by gamma rays. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that, dude? I was like, whoa. Yeah, like Collector been collecting, and he got a lot of uh, muscle. He been <laughs> collecting mass. Yeah, yeah, Collector has been collecting HGH. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, I really, yeah, I really liked this, that version of the Collector. Like, I was like, oh shit, I wish we had, like got a Guardians of the Galaxy movie with like this guy as the villain. Or this version of the collector of the villain, because he's really imposing. Belicio de Toro. Belicio de Toro. Yeah, I was very excited. I mean, surprised to hear that he came back, too. I was like, damn, they, everybody's coming back. Same check, baby. Hey. <laughs> Same check, baby. <laughs> that shit, baby. Uh, check out No One Move. Or Nobody Move. On HBO Max. Yeah, great. Which is a dope movie. Or um, so I've heard. Uh, it's, it's been, it's it's been in my list for a while. I need to watch it before it's gone, actually. But, um, so yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, like that was really, really cool. I really liked the, the, the collector and the little Howard the Duck, uh, shout out to Seth <laughs> Green. <cameo>. Shout <laughs> yes. out to Seth Green. He did a great job. I knew it was him immediately. I was like, oh shit. I had just watched an interview with him that earlier that day. So, it was really, oh, really? It was so weird that it was him in that episode. I was like, what? Nice little, nice little cameo. I hope we get more Howard the Duck. Please oh put give Howard God. the Duck a, a TV show, or a movie. Uh, if you give him one, <laughs> let it be animated, completely animated. <laughs> I think we could do keep, not. No, after, do not involve it with anything else. <laughs> well, after 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 Loki, I have faith that like you could have something that's a Howard the Duck weird show that's not connected with anything else, but it's just be his own little funny thing. Nope. <laughs> I figured somebody like you would never say that with someone who hates CGI as much as you. Oh, uh, I mean, well, yeah, oh, I forgot about that. You would have to make it a CGI. <laughs> yeah, like, a unless CGI. you wanted to look like goddamn the first Howard the Duck movie. Yeah, yeah. Which, that's hey, true. I'm not against that. I think that's hilarious. I like the Howard the Duck movie. You know why? Because I laugh the whole time. Mm-hmm. Everybody hates it. You don't know how to laugh. <laughs> you don't know how to laugh at life. <laughs> Laugh at life, baby. <laughs> I still haven't seen it. Maybe, maybe I need to watch that. Maybe we can watch yeah, that man. Pod one day. Laugh, laugh at life, baby. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited for the next episode, whatever it may be. Uh, like, and yes, Marvel keeps knocking it out of the park. 
uh, with these Disney Plus shows. Marvel keep taking your bitch. <laughs> that is what Marvel be doing out here. Marvel, Marvel straight up comes in the club every weekend and takes <laughs> your bitch. Like <laughs> he could go somewhere else and take somebody else's bitch, but he come in every weekend take your bitch. <laughs> this month. Like oh oh, but okay. <laughs> um, hey man, they doing it. DC. <laughs> yeah, where you at, DC? Step a game up. Um, yo, check it out. I want to do something about the Venture Brothers. It's now on Venture HBO Brothers. Max, and I think that we should all be watching it to make sure we get some love to it, so yes. that we can get a eighth season. Yes, please. Like, I mean, come on. You guys well, eighth, know. Eighth, ninth, and tenth season really is what we really need. They're talking about doing a movie, but we really just need the movie to lead us into the eighth, ninth, and tenth season and round it on off, and, and, and we can get the full story of Rusty Venture. Yes. And his two little boys and his manservant. <laughs> yeah, that show is way too incredible to not like come back to it and have a like a, if a, a, have a real ending so y'all know y'all know how the internet works y'all go out there and do what you do be, do it, be irritating be aggravating do bring it back the internet <laughs> do, do all the internets do the, all the internet <laughs> don't ever stop doing the internet and then make sure you put the venture brothers in there when you're talking about it at some point because we <laughs> like that show and like I'm bounce, I'm really riding for it. Like I work there right now. <laughs> yeah, right. I just realized that. Hey, yo, fuck the Venture Brothers. They not fucking paying me shit. No, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Go watch it though. It's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Drunk Banthas podcast. We do this every once in a while. So go ahead and like and subscribe so you can get updates on new episodes of the pod and new video essays from yours truly. Uh, until next time. Stay safe, my little what if machines. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. And may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>